I am so full of gratitude because I feel like it's telling the full story in the way that I would have wanted it to come across. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Rumor with Pop Culture, and today I have with me Nink and Tosca and Jan Broberg to talk all about Peacock's new series, A Friend of the Family. Welcome, thank you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Well, Jan, you have told your story in kind of more of a documentary style before. How does it compare to telling your story in this scripted drama through actors? A scripted drama in nine parts with fantastic actors, an amazing production team, amazing writers is so, I am so full of gratitude because I feel mm -hmm. like it's telling the full story in the mm -hmm. way that I would have wanted it to come across so that people can relate to it because this kind of abuse, even though my story is a little crazy, it's real people, real families, and the abuser or the predator or the groomer is either in the family or close to the family, and you just don't see it. So I wanted mm -hmm. to expose this kind of psychology, this kind of you know, manipulation. And I think the series does that. I'm so happy about it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I've screened the series. It's wonderful. And, and Nick, I'm curious what kind of brought you together with Jan in the first place and what it was like putting this together and having her work so closely with you. Well, I was drawn to the story after seeing the documentary, but really after reading the Broberg's book and hearing it through their or through their their own voice, um, their story is so terrifying and so so maddening and haunting. But the more you think about it, and the more you dig into it, the more human and relatable it is because we all have these you know chinks in our armor. We all have uh, the vulnerabilities that can be used against us by someone we love and trust. So. Once I kind of got that bug that you get as a writer where it's like this story won't leave me alone and it gives me chills um, and, and there's more to understand about it. We reached out to Jan because that was the essential thing. I mean, if we if we weren't going to partner with Jan and her family, like we weren't going to do this. Mm -hmm. So we reached out and then we spent, I mean, really the next three years working on it since, since then. Um, but we, we talked for a long time and Jan and her family were so generous with their time and their story and their history and gave us so much that we could not have told the story without. Yeah, absolutely. And, and Jan, I am curious how much you worked with the actors when it came to their performances, because it must be kind of odd finding people to play you, play your family in this way. You know, the casting did such a, a magnificent job. So I give credit first and foremost to, to those behind the scenes that made the right choices. Because mm -hmm. for me, I, I was able to write some letters to them, like before they came to set, I was in Atlanta and we were, you know, meeting with various departments, art department and costume design and doing a lot of that, you know, detail work to make it the story really livable, really rich, really right in that time period. And I just had that feeling like if I could just write them a letter to let them know, to give them the license to bring their A game as they're all magnificent actors. I I wanted them to feel free to do that. And then I just gave a few little, here's some little things to know about my dad, about my mom, about me, mm -hmm. about Birchtold, you know, that make them full human beings that I think that was my way. And then they would, they would text me and we would have FaceTimes and we would just talk about little things, everything. Colin wanted to know what he'd be playing on the piano. If it were my mm -hmm. dad, my dad would wake us up to playing the piano on some, you know, do some March and then we'd get up and go to school. And mm -hmm. so it was really nice because Anna and I had some of those exchanges and, and she wanted to meet my mom and we, we mm -hmm. were able to FaceTime. It was just, they were as lovely as they could be. And I was able to, to share what I could, but but they brought so much richness, richness to every single character that I was 100% happy. McKenna Grace and Hendrix Yancey, emotional intelligence out the wazoo. I mm. love those two girls. On set Absolutely. too, they would, the cast would bring these things that Jan had told them in their conversations. And in little moments, you know, Colin or any of them would say like, oh, what if I said this here? What if I just threw out this little phrase? Like Bob would say this or, you know, and and so that I think was really, um, really enriched the, the production and the storytelling. 
Absolutely. And it, it definitely shows in the, uh, in the show. I can't wait for everyone to see it. And I appreciate both of your time. Thank you so much. 